This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright my viewers, today is Sunday I'm hoping that everybody is doing okay Hope you all are keeping safe from the rain Getting a lot of rain here in Kingston, Jamaica yeah man, hope wherever you guys are, you are well sheltered. From time to time throughout this video, you might hear a little rain and a little thunder and thing, you know, but you don't know that go, alright? So, now that the T20 series is done and dusted, there are some crucial things that we need to zoom in on, guys. Yeah man, we spoke about some of them on the live yesterday evening, but there are some crucial things that I just decided that I'm going to use a video and start to tie them in. We could maybe call them the highs and the lows of the series or we could probably call them, you know, tag them as things that we need to improve on and things that we definitely are okay with. Now, first things first, guys. I must say that for our double T20 defending champions, I really don't think that we have grasped the concept of how T20 games should be played. You understand? Even though we would have managed to... to to, to, to win both T20 World Cups you know, in 2012 and 2016, I am thinking that there are certain things that we definitely need to work on going forward. You understand? So we, we're going to be zooming in on a couple of these things. Now, having said that though, guys, we need to make sure that we are not overshadowing the positive and, and, and thing, you know, so, because we notice some positives so we're not going to behave as if it was just all straight negative. So, yeah, we, we, we're definitely going to be zooming in on those. So first thing I will address is how well our bowlers did. The unit worked with all those, those, those hitters pretty well, my viewers and subscribers. You know, I, I mean, the, the, bowler, the bowlers were, were pretty good. You know, they, they, they worked well. Um, you know, South Africans had some hitters in their team and our bowlers worked well and, you know, even even when we look at our team guys you know we had a lot of hitters in there and our bowlers managed to stand out so you can just imagine that the bowlers were the men of the series for us as it regards to our team they really went and outdone themselves now bravo was outstanding as usual and his figures show exactly why he's, why he currently sits atop the chart in terms of t20 wickets you know, we're talking about him getting a, a, a couple of, of um, brace and, you know, he got a 4 for 19, which was his best T20 figures yet. So, we know that um, Dwayne Bravo seems as if he still have a lot le left in the tank. I remember him saying in one of the interviews that right now, he's still, you know, he's still loving the game, similarly to how he was loving it as when he was a when he was a child so we know that Dwayne Bravo still have a lot to give so I must shout out to him first he did extremely well Obed McCoy guys he was outstanding you understand in terms of oh of, of sheer pace you know he, he bowled with good pace from time to time you know um but in terms of how he really worked the ball how he oh how he outsmarted the batsman and thing I must say that I am really and truly impressed with this youngster. And this is something that we have said on a couple of occasions, guys. But, we, you know, the, the, the guy did well. So we can't, we can't just behave as if we want to overlook it. No, I think he, he, he made his debut run about in 2018, got injured, and then he had to, you know, he had to work on himself. And he did pretty well in the T10 the other day in Abu, Abu Dhabi, I think it was. And, you know, came against Sri Lanka, did pretty well. And then in South Africa, against South Africa here, he was outstanding, my viewers and su subscribers. You understand? I mean, in terms of sheer pace and having a strike bowler, we, we, we are definitely still searching for that strike bowler because, you know, we looked at Fidel Edwards, a couple of persons talking about Sheldon Cottrell, some persons talking about O'Shane Thomas, you know, but in terms of out-and-out out sheer pace bowler, we definitely need to find um, somebody like that. But we are going to need, as I said, guys, we are going to need to get that sorted out. But with Bravo and Obed McCoy, we, 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 we are, you know, those two are a surety as it regards to going forward. Now, once Allen is fit, he will play. You understand? 
The issue though is if he is not fit, we will need to replace him. Probably, you know, Akil Hussein, he got his go and, you know, in the final game. Didn't really work out for him, but, you know, a man making his debut in the in T20, you know, um, he, he, he probably won't do as good as he would want in the, in the first game. So he's going to be there, there still. You know, um, but where the bowling unit is concerned, Obed McCoy, Bravo, you know, they are there. And um, what once Allen is fit, he will be there. But you know, you're going to need an, a, a, a good pace bowler to go with Russell and Pollard. We know we don't know if we're going to go with O'Shane Thomas or, or we are probably going to go with, with, um, with Fidel Edwards. You know, Jason Hole is also there. Once he gets back his form, then we know that he will, he will, he will, he will also bowl. Usually does very well for us with his four overs. Um, as regards to getting another spinner, Hayden Walsh Jr. is there waiting in the wings. You know, Moti is also there. And um, by the time we are finished with, the, with this Australia series, we should get a better, a better idea of, you know, how we are looking in terms of bowlers. But um, the three bowlers that, that probably would have cemented themselves for, for, the, for the near future, Obed McCoy, Bravo, and Allen once he's fit. But, you know, in terms of sheer pace, we are definitely going to need an out-and-out pace bowler because if, if uh, Russell is going to be on the team, we know that he's going to carry um, some of the bowling. He did not do anything with the bat this series, but where the bowling is concerned, it wasn't the worst. So um, he will be there to, 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 to share, maybe to bowl two or three overs. And we know Captain Pollard will probably chip in every now and again. You understand? So the bowling unit not looking too bad, my viewers and subscribers. Now, another positive would be our catching, guys. Our catching was, uh, was, was another positive. You understand? The guys caught well, and I must admit, you know, the overall feeling wasn't too bad. You know, people like Simmons and Lewis, they really did pretty well in the outfield. You know, Lewis patrolling the boundaries, Simmons in the covers taking some good catches or a slip feeling i mean in the t20 we didn't have really have a, a, a lot of slip um catches I, I remember gail taking one there but um in terms of feeling overall it wasn't bad at all so if we're going to if we're going to give them if we're going to give them a mark for feeling i would probably give them a good eight out of ten you know every now and again we probably had a man overrunning the ball but you know with the intensity in the outfield that is going to happen so I would give him an 8 out of 10 where, 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 the, where the, the, the feeling is concerned. Where the bowling is concerned now, I would maybe give them a good 8.5, you know, guys. To be honest, I would give them an 8.5 out of 10. And it is pushing close to 9. And maybe the reason why I wouldn't give them the 9 is because, um, you know, they, they probably let the batsman, the batsman um, get away on a couple of occasions and then we would have to work hard to get back at them. But that is the game and we are playing against international cricketers. So, you know, from time to time, a man going to be able to get runs. So, we can't knock them too hard. Now, talking about Evan Lewis, guys, he, he, he really finished off with the most runs for us. You know, got a couple of, a couple of half centuries. I, at, the, at the beginning of this series, I had predicted that Evan Lewis would have finished with the most runs for us. And I, I, I had predicted that Obed McCoy would have finished atop the, 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 the bowling charts for us. And I am, I, I, I am probably not always spot on with my predictions, you know, but, but not too bad, not too sloppy this time around, eh? Yeah, man, so those, those, those two aspects, the feeling, I would give them, I would give them, as I said, how much I give the feeling? Eight, eight and a half there about, same thing with the bowling. No, I, I am really impressed with how he, uh, uh, Evan Lewis played, guys. You know, his power play, you know, and that's his job. To, to get as much as possible in the power play then but as long as he can to sort of see how much runs he can get but his overall play was extremely well you understand and 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 you know from time to time we would probably want him to bat a little bit deeper but i am i am thinking that the role that was given to him he really he really executed more often than he did not you understand and as to as to who will eventually open with him, that's a different story, guys. Because Fletcher, you know, Fletcher came in, he played two good games. You know, sort of, sort of a bit harsh how he got how he was left out. A couple of persons are calling for him to be in ahead of Gale. But um I must say that he was really he was really harsh how he got left out. But 
we know how the, we know how the game of cricket is very cruel and you know he's also a wicked keeper so you know if Puran isn't performing in it, performing if Simmons isn't performing he could come in for any one of those two or if those guys are performing and Gale not performing he could step in for you know for Gale also so those are those are the general positives um guys that came from the series not saying that the, you know we didn't have any more but those are the general ones that stood out the bravo the obed mccoy you know the, the evan lewis the, the feeling you know pollard's captaincy and all of that you know the, the, those 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 sort of stood out um amo, uh, above the rest you understand no when all is said and done guys we are definitely going to need to get our batting lineup figured out you know from selecting our openers to who bats at number three number four and things like that so we, we, we we're gonna really need to start that out now down to the meat of the matter now my viewers and subscribers overall batting you know it wasn't where we, we we really wanted to be so even though we saw a couple of positives the overall batting wasn't where we wanted to be and you know we can we can really call ourselves a, a batting unit and we can really we, we are not capable of making 170 or chasing down 160 or they understand so that 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 is something that we're going to need to look at now the issue the issues are clear for everyone to see guys you know some problems are are, are there and we are going to need to to look at them now our strength is our weakness and we 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 like we like the power hitting yes but our players um for for some reason seems not to know when to turn it off guys so our power hitting is our strength yes but we are definitely going to need to know when to turn it off and when to turn it on uh running between the wickets really really need to improve we must also find a way to to sort of tick over the score when facing up to to spinners guys we have a lot of all-rounders a lot of players that are fit you know people that that keep themselves in good shape good condition so once they are able to negotiate the spin and, and turn the ball into the gap they shouldn't have any any issue running running between the wicked so that is something that we're going to need to improve on going up against australia and going up in the world cup over there in the uae we're definitely going to need to improve on that you understand so those are some of the key things that we're going to need to look at no you understand but but generally speaking guys we we saw some good signs as i said that we can improve on as we look to build and as i said the main idea now will be to regroup and really to keep putting in the work and see how how things goes after the australia tour you know the cpl and all of that and and then going into the world cup but as i said the, you know we, we 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 learned a couple of things from this series um a couple of guys stood out a couple of people show that right now they are still not up to scratch they are not up to par so we'll need to fix those but um this as I, this is going to be probably the final video wrapping up that series so we just wanted to tie everything in a bow and to let you guys know the marking that we actually gave them so the bowlers and the the, the bowling where the bowling is concerned and the feeling you know they, they got eight to eight and a half out of ten our batting though um i'm going to give them i'm going to give them a six and a half seven you understand and why, why i'm even giving them close to seven is because you know they, they, they what was required of them they, they went close to it even though they didn't over overpower the, 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 the south africans what was required of them they went close to it you understand if it was the case that sri lanka made 190 and we kept on making 160 then i would have to give them five hours about the fact that it was in the 160s and we got to we, we lost by one run and then one at a time we got 150 you know we lost by 21 runs when i um the last the last game something like that you know we 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 we, we weren't too far off but we definitely we definitely can't can't get no high score maybe six six and a half would be a better score so as i said guys we're just tying up this series and hopefully we will be able to to do better going forward so just go ahead guys down there in the comment section let me know what are your final thoughts as regards to this sri lanka t20 series and what you are expecting as we move forward sports to the bone keeping it informed please remember to like share leave us a comment if you have not yet subscribed please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel i'm out